Welcome to the Morgan Homestead. I'm Sandy and Kevin is up on the roof um, putting our shingles on. So I'm going to show you what that's looking like right now. We decided to go with a shingle instead of a metal roof. Um, we thought it gave a little bit more character. We liked the color of it with the stain that we went with on the house. So, and that's what I've been busy doing is staining. So I'm gonna just kind of walk around the house and show you um, what it looks like. The door to go in. Here's the north side. The color is called gold, cedar oak gold, I believe. Isn't it pretty? Hey, Kev. And this is the side. This first window is the bedroom window. And the next window is living room. And then this is the front. So, it's pretty high up. And I haven't finished staying. So you can see where I haven't gotten. I was standing up on the scaffolding and it's pretty wobbly and I got kind of scared and I was like, Kev, you don't expect me to go up that ladder, do you? Because, no way, Jose. <laughs> I am kind of afraid of heights in my later years here, so um, I don't know how we're going to get that done. He's scrambling to get the roof done and I'm scrambling to get the staining done. And that's all that's left is that peak. And then down this side. <laughs> oh, so the windows will be cut out when they're coming next week. Um, so then the windows, we have like four windows that will be going in the front there where that ladder is. I do have a lot of siding I need to stain. And I'm noticing this morning I dripped down when I was standing up above. It looks like I dripped down on those logs. And I'm hoping that I can fix that. We're only doing one coat of stain this year, or now, and then in the spring, excuse the generator, in the spring we'll do another coat. So then I come around to this side, we're back to the other side, so yeah. So yeah, we're scrambling here in Minnesota to get the the roof done and the staining done before the snow comes and it's already November so it could come any day I can't see the tips of the fork so you have to kind of guide me okay in. so steer just a little bit to the left okay get center and I'll be out here with hand signals okay Ladder. 
Okay. You probably should have left the window out first. Um, I suppose I need to go up that clean some shit out later. Yep. We didn't have that last window. <laughs> yeah, it is too bad. It feels incomplete. <laughs> because it is. <laughs> well, when is that coming? I didn't say it. I'll have to have Sandy call it. Well, it's been long enough. On the window. Yeah. That's like the guy could do that, build that over his lunch hour. I didn't know oh, why, yeah. Why didn't they just quickly build the thing. If the complete that order, you know. The only excuse would be they ran out of that extruded rail. Oh yeah, they could have ran out of material as well. This will be the last time I gotta get up there until the log site. Yep. never get sandy up there. You wouldn't even get around there. <laughs> as wobbly as it is. Oh, a little bit. She freaks out. So that's all we got today. This we're short one window so we couldn't finish up here, but these actually didn't go so bad. So we got all these windows in on the side here. I mean we got all the windows in except for that one that we don't have. They didn't have it made yet, so So the next thing we got to do for the outside is get the log siding. That right there is the log siding. We got to put that up on the gabled ends. We can start this gable, but we got to wait for that other window before we can start the the other one. Got the door in, kitchen window in. It's 
getting there. Now, after the exterior, we'll have to work on the inside. But there it is. So now that I have all the windows installed and I have insulation around all the windows, this particular this insul insta this insulation here is it kind of ex it's exposed to the outside. So I want to get all that covered up by putting some trim around the windows. So that's what we're going to be working on today. The trim will actually go between the window and the log. So we'll, we'll take some measurements here and go cut some trim pieces and stick them in there. The top, because the logs uh, will settle over time, we actually have to allow for that. So what we gotta do is we gotta build a piece of trim on top and one on the bottom that passes behind it. So when the logs settle, the, that outside trim can kind of move its way down the face of the lower trim. So then we don't pinch the windows once when the logs settle. So I'm going to actually be working on that. So I'll show you the process as I'm doing that. fits. So my two side pieces were two and three eighths. It looks like this side is a little tight so we're going to have to trim this one down. Trim that one down. And 
that's going to fit nice. get that one to fit in there just nicely. Nice and snug. Now all of these I'll have to stain before I put them up. So we're just cutting them today and then we're going to stain them. In. We'll, we'll, we'll take them inside and stain them. All right, this one's a little tight for length. So what these two will do is one will screw on to the top of this log here, the bottom of that log there. The other one will connect to the bottom of the window and they'll overlap like this. So as the logs settle, this top one can slide down to, so that it doesn't bind the window up. But we gotta go take and cut these off just a hair and rip this one just a little bit. We'll be right back. Okay, now let's see if they fit. I did take a little bit of length off the two top ones and then the width off of the one, the lower one and then the one on the left. It fits much better. Like I said, we gotta stain them first, so we'll uh, take them inside and stain them before we put them up. Let's try the left side here. Oh yeah, nice. That fits really nice. Then the two top ones. Again, so what we'll do on the top is we'll put one across here and we'll fasten that to the window buck. And then we'll put one above it that will fasten to the bottom of the top log. And then they'll be able, this top one will be able to, as the logs settle, they'll be able to slide down the face of the lower one. We won't nail it to this, so just up here. All right, they fit nice. So we'll uh, set these aside, cut some more, and then we'll stain them all at the same time. And then we'll go around, well, I'll make sure I mark them so I know which one goes where. And then we'll go around when we're done staining and they dry for a little bit. And we'll nail them up. Okay, so this is my last window on the lower level. I still have the back door to do, but what I've been having to do is kind of measure every window um, for everything, top, bottom, sides, and upper, uh, and then cut them custom for that window. And then I've been marking on the back what they're for and where they go. And on top, you need the two pieces because they got to overlap each other. And I have a total of six and a quarter. Six inches, I guess. So we'll just do three and three there. Next year we'll do three and a quarter, three and a quarter. All right, so now we'll go cut them. Yeah, I remember 
remember these two go on top and they overlap each other. Oh, it's going to stay there. So the goat, that one goes there. And then this one will go on above it so that it can slide down. So yeah, perfect. Looks good. I just have the door left to do, the back door. Um, that one, I have to pull the brick molding off to do this one. It came with brick molding and I think I want to take this white this white brick molding here off and then just trim it out just like I did all the other windows. So now Sandy's going to be doing the staining on the board so we're going to take those inside. She can do the staining and then I'll take them out. Like I said I mark all of them on the back side of them so I know exactly where they go left right up you know top bottom and then which window it is that they go to so i won't lose track of that but. so she can go ahead and do the staining on that and then i'll bring them out and i'll put them up all right so today we're going to be putting the trim on the outside it's the next day um all the trim was stained last night so left to dry overnight, so it should be ready to put up. It's still a little tacky, but it'll be fine. So we're gonna be putting this front window on first. Just using these trim screws to put these on. They got a smaller head so that you can fill them. Kind of like a just a bigger finishing nail, but in screw form. I think I'm just gonna put one screw in each one for now. Thing that I forgot to do is I forgot to nail the top of this window so I'm going to do that real quick first. Alright, we got that secure now. Let's put this guy up. Make sure it's the right one. The lower top. I'm gonna get some shims to kind of shim everything to make sure everything is good and flat. Nice. All right. 
Now, if you remember, the next one goes over the top of that one, kind of both hook to the top, bottom of this log here, and then that's what's going to be sliding when as the building settles. That'll be able to slide over the face of the top, the lower one. So just like that, I'm gonna go around, I gotta put a few more screws in and everything, but that's kind of what it's gonna look like. And then I gotta do the rest of the window, so. I'll come back and show you when it's all done. All right, so that takes care of all the windows on the bottom except for one. I have one in the back that I forgot to cut the bottom piece for, so that one I'm gonna have to uh, cut it and stain it and let it dry overnight. Finish that window tomorrow, but other than that, we have all the windows uh, done as far as the trim goes on the bottom part. We still gotta do the upper part, but. So right now with all that done, the house is pretty much weather tight from the outside, so that's nice to have. I'll take you around and kind of show you what the windows look like now with the trim on them. So this side here, the two bigger windows. Looks really nice, I think. I think it really finishes everything off, blends in really nice for the rest of the house. And there's the one window that I haven't completed yet. It has the, the, the heat going through it right now, but being vented through it. I just haven't, I forgot to cut the bottom part for that one, so I'll do that one tomorrow. But again, all the other windows are done. And here's the door after I took the brick molding off. We'll be painting this white part here the same color as the door, so it'll blend in better. I think it looks better with the pine trim on it kind of matches the rest of the window trim so so that's it for today next next videos we're going to be actually doing the inside so stick around for that we're going to be starting to frame walls and run electrical inside the framed walls um, so then everything on the inside will start taking place looking a little bit more finished and kind of get a better idea of what the layout's going to be so so stick around for that but thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and like it. Share it on your social media. It really does help out the channel. But until next time, goodbye for now.